Hey guys, it's Takumo here, and I'm uh, going to bring you a bit of a race I did in arcade mode using the um, professional level AI. As such, I I don't come for an overall win. I come in the top half, though. I think I could have done better, but I did make a fair few mistakes in this race. I was trying to really go for a sort of realistic race. I was trying to go for a race where there wasn't any body contact, there wasn't anything odd going on, but the driving was exciting. I think we got that. Um, I'm racing on Spa Francochon, which is a track available in the currently the only Gran Turismo DLC for tracks. It's a great track. I highly recommend you go out and buy the full DLC. Just just get the D all the DLC for Gran Turismo. It's all worth it. I'm mean, at about 10 euros or 10 pounds or it's 10 money either way it's 10 money and you will get all of this content it's so much content um, so you can see I'm trying to work my way up up the ladders trying to take each corner as in a way that's offensive as to be able to overtake another driver And here we approach such an opportunity. And a bit of a sliding, bit of a sliding. But I managed to overcome it and I managed to take fairly cleanly. Um, as we head into this corner, I thought I had made some body contact with this car in the next corner, but as you'll see, it's actually just me getting very close but I do feel a bit bad about this because I knocked him I knocked the driver offline I know it's the AI and it shouldn't matter but I don't like to think I'm racing unfairly it certainly won't help me if I bring that any kind of destructive methodology into I racing it certainly won't go down too well uh, anyway what I want to talk about in this video as a main topic, having blabbered on for so long, is um, requests and suggestions. I am very happy to listen to any requests and suggestions you make to my channel. Contact me and I will, I will listen and I will probably respond. You know, if you have a particular car that you want to see me drive on a particular track or a particular sort of set of cars that you want to see me race, sure. I'll go for it. If you want to see me rent a particular PS3 game and play it and do a video of it and play it, suggest it to me. I mean, I might not be able to. I might not be able to rent it or something like that, but I will try to rent games that are suggested to me. If it's a game that you, if you suggest a game which I already own, then I will just upload a video of it. I'll make a video and upload. As far as Gran Turismo races go, Gran Turismo is probably the most requestable game I have. I have a large collection of cars, um, to which I will link in the description of this video. I will link you my online profile, which shows every car I have, although it is manually updated, so it may or may not be correct. At the moment, it is correct. There's over 160 cars in my collection, with very few of them being duplicates. Oh, apologies there for a bit of a yawn. Been quite exhausted. Um, as far as races go, you can certainly see, expect to see me race a fair few times, you know, race this car get race this car one thing i have to mention gran turismo even now after all of its updates after it's probably 12 updates still hasn't quite got the hang of certain things it one feature i find terrible to be missing from gran turismo and i feel i should mention this is that you can't actually make a race and choose each individual car that will be in the race. It's like, I want to race these cars. There are 16 cars. This is the one I want to be in. 
and the AI will be driving these ones. Uh, you can't do it. I don't know why. It's it's really really odd. I I find it bizarre that Polyphony would have left such an important feature out for so so long, if not indefinitely. I mean, when it comes to certain requests, I might not be able to fulfill them. For example, you may ask me to race a very fu a car which is very expensive that I don't have. Uh, I can try to get it by winning if it's available as an event win, but if it isn't, then it's going to be quite tricky. And obviously there are some cars which I cannot fit dirt and snow two tires to. Um, so I can't do any dirt or snow races with them. However, most cars can be made to rally. But if it looks like a super fast top technology race car, it probably is. And it probably can't be raced on dirt. That Peugeot caused me trouble throughout this entire race. It just sort of kept trying to aggressively pass me, and uh, it just—it just isn't fast enough. And it was just, he, the driving from that Peugeot was too aggressive, but and not fast enough. He had more aggression than speed, and that was his real problem. You can see as I track out onto that from that corner into this one. It is obviously clear that I'm making a better line, taking a better line, and, I hold, and, and I'm holding more speed because I'm hitting an apex and I'm tracking out all the way to the track up point, usually using the maximum space on the track. Using all of the track is a very important thing to get into your mind when racing. It may seem odd that the quickest route is the longest route, but it is. The longest, if you can take the longest route possible through a corner, it, that means that you're putting less, you're trying, the tires are being forced less outwards because they're turning in a wider circle wider time, so therefore you can go through it with more speed. It's something a lot of people really don't seem to get into their minds when they first start playing a racing game. That's why some racing games will even specifically teach you about the tires to make sure you actually understand what it is. Anyway, this video has come to an end. Um, thanks for watching.